The last section that we have in chapter 2 is about maintenance testing. Once the software is deployed, it should be used by the customer for years, okay? During this time, the system and its environment are changed. So what happens when those changes happen? Okay, the system may not perform well like it was performing in the past. So now we have to perform maintenance testing. When we talk about maintenance testing in software, that means that we are talking about an existing operational system, a system that the customer used and has changed so that we need to make more testing. Maintenance testing, of course, includes regression testing to parts of the system that have not been changed. Like we said in regression testing, we do it under two conditions, when the software changes or when its environment changes. So what are the treasures that will force me to perform maintenance testing? There are three causes for maintenance testing. The first is modification. When I modify my system, when I change parts of it, I have to perform maintenance testing. The second cause of maintenance testing is migration. Migration means when I take my system and move it from a platform to another platform, from an environment to another environment. The system did not change, but its environment has changed. So I have to perform maintenance testing. The third reason for maintenance testing is retirement. I'm not going to use the system anymore, but I need the data that I used in it. So I extract them, I archive them and throw away the system. Here also we need maintenance testing. The last concept that we have in chapter 2 is called impact analysis. Impact analysis is that we determine how the existing system may be affected by changes. Okay, we have a system. What if a change happens? How much is my system affected by this change? Why do we do impact analysis? Of course, to know how much regression testing do we need. Okay, if the impact is high, we will need regression testing a lot. If the impact is low, we may not need regression testing. Now we have reached the end of chapter two. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos between your colleagues and connections. Also, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.